OK, so in this example, we figured out that if we were going to write this as y equals f of x of, or g of x of f of x, or f of g of x, f of g of x, right? Then we could write this as f of x equals x to the fifth, and g of x equals x plus 1, right? So we found the parent and we found the child. Now, to do this slowly as we're learning, what we'd want to do is let's find the derivative of each of these. f prime of x is equal to 5x to the fourth. g prime of x is equal to 1. We give with this point, right? So this is the easy kind of breakdown. And if you have a problem that you get like really, really stuck with, my recommendation would be to do exactly this. However, we're going to be practicing so much of this, you're not going to have to do all of these steps every single time. So just like the product rule and the chain rule, or product rule and the quotient rule, the chain rule has a very, very important um, portion in our lives. And the chain rule is basically going to say that um, when we have a function like that's in this case, bless you, that's going to equal f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Okay, So if we are going to differentiate y, then to differentiate y, um, y with relation to x, we're going to take the derivative of the function, enter in g of x, and then multiply that by the derivative of g prime of x. So let's go and take a look at what this would look like. So if we are going to find the derivative of my dy dx, what I'm simply going to do is take f prime. So f of, I'm just going to do this the slow way for the first one. This is like my introductory example. Times g prime 1, which is 1. right? And then what is g of x? That's x plus 1, right? So dy over dx is equal to 5 times x plus 1 to the fourth times 1, which we'll just leave as 5. 